Hello guys, how are you doing? This is a typical problem that you can find in plenty of authors and plenty of textbooks. And what the problem is asking you basically is finding the resultant force of all of these bunch of forces and the resultant moment at O. Another way that this problem can be asking the question is convert the system into an equivalent force and couple system at O. Basically what the problem is telling you, you have to find the resultant force and the resultant moment. That's it, nothing else. So if we have to find the resultant force, remember we have to find first the resultant force in X and the resultant force in Y, and then convert them and find the magnitude and the direction of the angle. Now this particular question has an interesting detail here. If you realize, if you see it, these two forces here are, are what, is, what is called a couple. And if you have a couple, a couple is just basically a pair of forces parallel and opposite to each other with the same magnitude. And if you just do a quick, quick, quick study here, you can see that these two forces cancel each other out in the x direction. However, they create a rotation you can convert these two forces just into one moment and the moment act, acts in that way because you can see that the rotation will be in this direction and the value of the moment is just 200 multiplied by 1 which is 200 newton meter that's it and that simplifies the problem a little bit because you don't have to take into account these two forces for anything now if we want to find the resultant forces in the x and y direction well then you have this component here, let's decompose this into components. This component for this force, because you have this little triangle here, basically the problem is telling you use this ratio. You take the same side, 3, 3 divided by 5 multiplied by 500, that will be this component, which is 300 Newton. And if you look at this other component, this component corresponds to this side, 4 divided by 5 multiply by 500 which is 400 now we are ready to do the summation of forces in X if we do summation of forces in X I have this force here 300 Newton and I already told you these two forces cancel each other even if you don't realize that you're gonna put 200 minus 200 so they are going to cancel in the summation so my resultant force is just gonna be that one in X and when you do summation of forces in Y, the resultant force in Y will be this one, 400, minus this one, which will be negative 350 Newton, or you can say 350 Newton acting in this direction. If you want the magnitude, which the problem is asking you for the magnitude of the force, so the resultant force magnitude wise will be a square root of this square plus this square so the resultant force is going to be 461 newtons and the other thing that we need is the angle with that force or how that force is applied what I like to do is I like to put my forces in the direction that I found them, like this and like that. This is 300, this is 350. And now if you complete this box, you know the resultant force will be this one. Now I can decide what angle I need to calculate. If I want this angle here, that angle, the tangent of that angle will be this side divided by this other side. So 350 divided by 300 meaning the angle is going to be the inverse tangent of 350 divided by 300 or your angle is going to be 49.4 degrees now remember this is the angle this one the first part is done we have so far the resultant force and the angle for that resultant force now the other part that completes this question is finding the moment at O. Okay, let's do that. First establish a convention. For this particular problem, I'm going to say 
everything that rotates counterclockwise is positive and we start with this force the force is 750 newton and it's a vertical force so I need the horizontal distance between the point O and that force and that's 1.25 and the other thing is the rotation you put your finger over there where you want to calculate the moment and apply the force in this direction and you can see the rotation is going clockwise and clockwise for our purposes is taken as a negative now we go to this force the value of the force is 400 and this force is vertical so I need the horizontal distance between that force and the point O and that's 2.5 now to determine the rotation once again you put your finger at the point where you want to calculate the rotation and apply the force in that direction and you can see the rotation is in this way which is counterclockwise and we establish that counterclockwise as positive in our convention and then we go to this other force this other component the value of the force is 300 the force is horizontal so I need the vertical distance between the point and the force and that is 1 and then you apply the rotation if you don't see the force how the rotation is remember you have something that is called principle of transmissibility which means that you can displace or slide that force anywhere along the line of action and the effect for the moment is the same now if you didn't see it here for example the rotation now you can see it here you put your finger there and apply the force and the rotation will be in this direction which we consider negative in our convention the last thing are these two forces but because I converted the two forces already in the moment I just have to add this moment the rotation of the moment is negative and the value is 200 so my resultant moment is going to be negative 438 newton meter now this negative what it means is that my resultant moment is going to be 438 newton meter but if I assume that positive was counterclockwise and I got a negative value that means that this is going to be clockwise what is the result of the problem or the summary of the problem well we need this moment acting clockwise at the point O 438 newton meter and we have this force this force is 461 newton and the angle that we determined was this angle 49.4 degree which if you realize that angle is the same angle as this one well that's all for this problem i hope you like it guys thank you for watching and i'm going to do a couple more of these type of problems have a good day